Good afternoon. Welcome to the White House. It's important for us to pause for a moment and make sure that we're talking with each other in a way that, that heals, not in a way that wounds. It's been held hostage by a radical few, a band of Tea Party tyrants who and hostage taking. At a time when our discourse has become so sharply polarized. On holding the entire economy of our country hostage. A Tea Party extremist. And the entire country hostage. Our economy hostage. Extremists have locked down this Congress. We're holding the full faith and credit of this government hostage. A time when we are far too eager to lay the blame for all that ails the world at the feet of those who happen to think differently than we do. Who are holding our economy hostage. Hold the debt ceiling discussions hostage. Holding the full faith and credit of the United States hostage is a whole, a whole country hostage and a whole Congress hostage. Death helps usher in more civility in our public discourse. Of hostage taking. It's as if someone puts a gun to your head and says, give me your money. They held hostage. Tea Party Republicans have held our economy hostage to those demands. We are only at this point because the far right wing, for the first time in American history, has chosen to hold our economy hostage in order to enact a radical ideological agenda. Only a more civil and honest public discourse can help us face up to the challenges of our nation in a way that would make them proud. Be held hostage. And now for the Republicans to hold people hostage. I, I By a small group of extreme right-wing ideologues. Those who are holding the American people and our economy hostage. We should be civil because we want to live up to the example of public servants like John Rowe and Gabby Giffords, who knew first and foremost that we are all Americans and that we can question each other's ideas without questioning each other's love of country, and that our task working together is to constantly widen the circle of our concern so that we bequeath the American dream to future generations.